Welcome to this new video on our Embedded Craft channel. In this video, we will show how to run and debug embedded Linux applications running on BeagleBone Blackboard. We have connected board with Ubuntu 18.04 machine via LAN cable. First we have to install Eclipse on our host machine. To download Eclipse visit www.eclipse.org downloads webpage. Here is the webpage. Click on download link. Let's click on download. And save it. Because I have already downloaded, it is already available in the download folder. I have already extracted Eclipse installer. Let's go to Eclipse installer folder. Double click and run Eclipse installer. It is running. Let's wait for seconds. Once installer will run we have to select Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers. I am selecting Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers. It is going to install in CPP 2020 folder. Ok, let's install. Installation will begin. It is downloading packages from Eclipse website and installing. Depending on internet speed, this process will take some time. Generally it take 1 to 2 minutes. Installation is complete. Let me close this installer. Let's say no to launch IDE. Let's go to home folder. Eclipse. CPP. Eclipse. Running Eclipse IDE. This is my workspace location. Keeping it as default. Eclipse is starting. Going to Workbench. Eclipse is running fine without any issue. Let us close it for now. Click on Exit. Now we are going to install GCC Compiler and Debugger. I am going to copy command and paste it in Terminal. This will install cross GCC compiler. All commands are given in description of this video. You can copy from there. Let's type arm hyphen Linux hyphen GNUEAHIHF hyphen GCCN and hyphen hyphen version. So, our GCC installed version is 7.5.0. Next, we are going to install cross C compiler. One new package is going to be installed. Next we are going to install GDB MultiArch Debugger for host machine. Type sudo apt get install GDB hyphen MultiArch. Debugger is installed. Now let us check version number. Installed version is 8.1.0. Now we are good to go to create projects. Let us start Eclipse. Keeping workspace location default. Click on launch. Now we are going to create new project. Go to file. New C C++ project. C managed build project. My project name is test. And we will use cross GCC compiler. Selecting both debug and release configuration. This is important step. We have to provide compiler prefix. Our compiler is ARM Linux. New EABIHF. GCC. We have to use from everything except GCC. Copy and paste we don't need to provide a path for the cross compiler because it is already there in path environment variable click on finish this is our project 
Let us add new C file. Go to New. Source File. File name will be main.c. Now we need to bring some code here. This is the simple hello world code which we will use. I want to disable build automatically. Right click on project. And build. This is compiler command used to build C file. Let us see binary file type. Right click on binary file, show in local terminal, and terminal. And, let's type command, file test. File type is ELF 32 bit LSB. It's time to run generated binary file on target board. We should know the IP address of board. Type ping 192.168.7.2. It's good. We are getting response. Let's establish SSH connection with board. Type SSH. Debian at the rate 192.168. Type ping 192. This will establish SSH connection. Great, we are on BeagleBone Blackboard. Type uname hyphen A. This is Linux kernel 4.14.71. Type pwd command. We are in Debian directory. Now we are good to go and run program on board. We have to select CC++ remote application. Right click on binary file and select run as configuration. Double click on CC++ remote application. Name of configuration is test underscore run. We are saying from my test project run test file. In connection, as it is not local, we have to create new connection. Connection type is SSH. Connection name is remote host. Host name is IP address of target board. Type 192.168.7.2 User is Debian. Enter password of board. And finish. This is password for login keering. Enter your login password of Ubuntu machine. We have to choose file location at remote target board. These folders are present at BeagleBone board in Debian folder. Location is home Debian and file name test. Arguments tab. My program don't need any argument. Apply. And run. Wow, here you can see. We are connected with board and test binary is executed. And hello world is the output. On target, here is our file. Let us run file here. Slash test. You can see, it is same hello world output. Let's do debugging now. There can be two methods. Either using remote application or using GDB hardware debugging. Let's use first method, C++ remote application. We will use SSH connection and DBS server for remote debugging. Go to binaries. Right click debug as and debug configurations. We will use test underscore run connection. Debug slash test is application. Build configuration. 
select automatically, and connection remote host. Same no arguments again. And at debugger tab, we would like to stop at main. Our debugger is gdb multi arch. We don't need gdb command file. Apply and debug. Let us switch. Program is stopped at first line in main. So, GDB server is listening at port 2345, and an program is test. Let us do single stepping. Here is output of our program. Step. And finish. Let us change back to CC++ perspective. To review setting of GDB server. Go to binaries, right click debug as, and debug configurations. Go to debugger tab, and GDB server settings, GDB server and port number. This is the port number where GDB server is listening connection request. Now we are moving to second method, using GDB hardware debugging. For this copy executable file to target using SCP command. We are on target now. Let us remove existing test file. I am opening a new tab for host machine. Going to Eclipse Workspace and Test. And let's go to Debug Directory. Let us use SCP command. Copy. And paste. Coping test. At home Debian directory. At 192.168.7.2. Entering password. Copy is complete. Go to target board, type ls command. You see test program is copied. Now let us start gdb server to debug test program. On target, let us type gdb server colon 10000 and dot forward slash test. gdb server started and listening at port number 10000. Let us go to test binary, right click, debug as, and debug configurations, remove test underscore run. Delete. Double click on GDB hardware debugging. Name is test. Project is test and. Application is test. Go to debugger tab. Change GDB to GDB hyphen multi arch. JTAG device will be generic TCP IP. Host name is my board IP address. Type 192.168.7.2. And port number is 10000. Apply and debug. Changing perspective. In main.c, right click and select run to line. Now control is at printf line. On target, gdb server is connected with host. Doing single stepping, in ide single step. And on target, hello world is printed. Let's go back to IDE. Single step, single step. 
and resume to finish. And on target GDB server is exited. Let us review steps through slides. And as you have seen, we have created GDB hardware debugging connection. Our setting is generic TCP IP. We have given IP address of board and port number of GDB server. And at on target, GDB server was started and listening at port number 10,000. This make end to this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe to Embedded Craft YouTube channel and share this video.